this watercolor tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate uh, one of the very exciting tutorial and yes, how to make your very first uh, watercolor landscape. <laughs> uh, the reason because when you start, uh, you know, making art, so you wanted to make something, you are, you are searching for a subject uh, and, I, and I think uh, this specific subject, uh, you know, making a landscape is, is actually a, a wonderful option, right? So I want to make this a very simple uh, when I say very simple, I'm really seriously, I'm saying it's very simple. <laughs> so, uh, and the reason because, uh, uh, you know, this is, I'm dedicating this entire thing for the beginners who want to make a watercolor art. So let's get started. And uh, I'm going to make a very simple uh, sketch. So I'm going to make a sketch. So we have, uh, uh, in a far distance but first let's uh, make this uh, you know uh, the composition so how our uh, sketch will I mean painting will look like so I wanted to make this you know this one as a surface level the space okay and this space till here okay I want to make uh, uh, my mountain and the tree or something like so I want to make a kind of a far distance there is a mountain and uh, you know uh, some trees across and some fields and all that so it's a very simple uh, you know landscape so as I said so this is going to be our ground surface level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a mountain which is you know in a slightly far in a distance okay and uh, yeah in a far distance hope you are able to see my drawing so I'll just make it a little darker a lot of people are asking why you are making this uh, dark don't worry no even if it is in a darker outline of your sketch no problem uh, so yeah so this is the mountain and uh, in this surface level I want to have a very small small you know the tree just under the mountain and some of the tree are so when you are seeing you're, you're coming to near to your eyes so those trees are becoming slightly bigger some of them are really bigger some are smaller so it's a kind of a perspective when you see eye level how you how I actually our eye level sees the thing right so the, the closer to you that will be a the things will be object will be a little bigger and then the far distance object will be a slightly you know the uh, the little smaller so exactly the same principle applies here and uh, yeah so these are the thing and we may have some flower or something like that kind of uh, you know an expression yes so this is what we have our sketch are we are we, <laughs> are we good with this yeah uh, this is very simple but uh, this is how we can start with so we'll go ahead and we'll make our paint uh, and how to how to use that watercolor here but before that I wanted to give you a very exciting news is that uh, I have a very special offer in my patreon which currently I'm running for uh, for I think uh, 15 20 days uh, so you can opt for a bronze you know tire group uh, in just uh, five dollar and a month and uh, you'll get access to to the level of the gold tire so what I mean to say is that uh, when you enroll in this uh, so this is the kind of offer I'm running in my patreon so thank you so much all my patreon who has been helping me to create uh, such videos and 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 that's a wonderful but if you want to enroll in that and you want to get an access to several other watercolor tutorial videos then I think uh, you should uh, you should opt for this uh, you know offer which currently I'm running just check my the link down below and you'll have an uh, all the options available to go through so yeah uh, I will go ahead with the very first layer so before that I just uh, let me introduce my color palette so here I have uh, you know horizon blue ultramarine blue sap green yellow ochre burnt sienna uh, orange 
sepia which you are not able to see and there is a red so, so typically i use uh, yeah excuse me so uh, these color mixing together and making a primary or secondary kind of first stuff right so yeah we'll go ahead on the very first layer now so what i'm doing is i'm taking this ultramarine blue color for sky and uh, just adding a little bit of uh, yellow occur and here we go like this if you want to make a cloud you can you can do that so, so here we can make this as a cloud just leaving some hard edge so this is my first layer So again I'm just as you can see I'm just using the same color here but I want to make a little more depth now so yeah I'll use this green and this yellow occur just a little bit so this is going to be our first layer very quick first layer so as you can see I'm just using a very flat color here like this and we are done so this is our first layer <laughs> so uh, this is how you will see as your first layer and uh, you will see the color is a very contrast at this moment but once this get dry you know uh, so you'll see that these colors are actually it will get subtle and uh, you'll not see that much of charm but you don't worry about that that will get fixed when you're working on us you know uh, the another layer so yeah so this is the very first uh, layering process uh, for uh, for your art and uh, let this dry completely don't work until unless it's not get dry right uh, so wait for that and we'll go for the second layer all right so now we have uh, you know completely dried uh, paper now and uh, we can go ahead with uh, second layer so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just taking the again this ultramarine blue and uh, adding a little bit of uh, yellow occur just a little bit of color and make sure that there should not be a too dark of color because the um, the mountain is very far right so it has to be a very light in, the, in color right so just apply it here like this and uh, I'm just taking even more lighter color and here we just put it yeah if you want just add a little depth here and there
like that. Okay. So we have painted more than. Isn't it simple? <laughs> so yeah, it's very simple. It's very simple. Uh, now what we do is just a little little dark here here and there that's all some outline just leave some you know the white space your your first layers would be visible somewhere here and there and uh, I'm taking this green now adding a little bit of yellow ochre and uh, just touch up a little bit of touch up so these are our trees which is pretty far We can also add a little bit of ultramarine blue. Mm. Just take a little more color. Okay, so I, I'm just using most of the time this green and uh, ultramarine blue, right, and leaving some space here and there. Now come down and here we have these bold patches and uh, now some trees are pretty much you know uh, closer to your eyes so take example of this so these trees are pretty much closer to your eyes these These are a little far in distance. And making this a little dark, little depth here. And again, the another layer of color. Which will be further more depth. So what I'm, how I'm making dark color is adding ultramarine blue, bansiana and green <clears throat> right now I'll just change this brush and I'll take a very simple this very thin zero number brush 
and now I'll just add a little bit of detailing of these Now, these seeds of this tree is actually going this side, so you can always make that shadows. I make a few more trees here. Right. And you can sprinkle always just take a water and sprinkle a little bit to give a little texture to bring a little interest to your art. And here might be some more jungle sort of these these uh, you know the branch is, is very s near to your eyes, very closer. So, this has to be a little dark. And you can just do play around what you want to depict with the branches and all that. Right. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, if you got it. If you just you know understood my concept, it's very simple. Let me let me tell you this. You might feel like this is very very complex, but trust me, this is very simple. This I what I did is I just played with a lighter color and the depth color, nothing else, leaving some you know some some space visible. My first layer visible, and that and that's all. Nothing nothing much. So these all the things are very important, uh, uh, you know, especially the depth and the light, leaving those uh, you know those things. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and uh, and I'm sure that uh, you know my uh, my uh, Patreon uh, uh, you know a special offer which I'm running today, I mean uh, for for a month, uh, will really help you. So please visit my Pat uh, Patreon page and uh, opt for a bronze, you know uh, the bronze attire category, and you will see an amazing tutorial, which I'm uh, which I'll be posting a lot of them in a. In a, in, a, in a very short days so thank you so much everyone and I I wish you uh, your great health and uh, be safe enjoy your time enjoy your all your skill development thank you so much